hello everyone welcome welcome so on this video i'm going to be showing you how to make pondu in a larger quantity compared to the recipes that i have of pondu on this channel and i also changed a few ingredients which is super super extra delicious so i hope you enjoy this and please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe so i'm gonna go through the ingredients and i'll leave it in the description box below as well i've got three fondue this is frozen it's okay um this is the brand that i trust uh, sometimes i just don't wash it because i trust it so if you're you're buying pondu for the first time and you don't know the brand um I, i'll recommend you to wash it but um this is what this is the pondu that i've been buying for years and i realized that sometimes like when i'm in a rush and it's frozen like this and I need to cook it and I make it straight away. When I try to cook it straight away, it's always clean. So there's no soil and rocks or whatever. So um, this is what I trust. Um, so I'm using three bones. I'll be using three green bell peppers. I've got three small onions. For my previous cooking, I've got leek. I'm gonna be using one and a half can of pisha in tomato sauce. So this is the fresh one I just opened and I also have the ones I used for my previous cooking. I'm using some palm oil. By the way guys, this is not um this is not advertised or sponsored video. This is what I use and I love love using this um palm oil. This what works very well. I've tried other palm oil, it just doesn't work out for me when I'm making pondu. So this is what I'm using. So I'll also be using some courgette. This is coming from the freezer. That I previously chopped just to keep it fresh. I've got one courgette here. So I've got here some garlic and I've got some of my seasoning here. Nothing too crazy. I'm just using some all pepper seasoning, uh, chicken stock, and some salt. That's pretty much it, guys. So for more information, please see the description box below. I hope I've covered everything. If I miss out anything, I'll just let you know throughout the video. So, um, yeah guys, so without further ado, let's start cooking. So I removed the skin off the onion. So now I'm just chopping it so that it'll be easier to blend it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just cut into chunky pieces so that it's easy to blend. And also do the same with the garlic. I'm also going to cut my bell peppers into chunky pieces so that it will be easy to blend. So now that I've got everything chopped, um, the garlic there's literally no need i can just blend it i can just put in a blender like this and um we're good to go so once you've got everything chopped all your vegetables chopped three green bell peppers three onions and i've got um about one courgette like i said i previously chopped my uh, leek which i'm going to blend it with everything okay Then add a bit of water to make it easy to blend. So you just blend it until it's like this consistency. Then as you're blending, you're literally, oh, what the heck is that? Ooh, okay. As you're blending, you're adding at the same time, okay? You literally think this is butter, yeah? <laughs> ah. I put this um, pisha, the leftover pisha, into the microwave to defrost. So I'm just cutting into pieces, then I'm gonna add it inside. So if you have fresh pisha, we can add one and a half of it, one and a half cans of it. It's literally absolutely. And then add it. The other one also, I'm just going to add the liquid. So after breaking it into pieces, I'm going to add it inside the fondue. So add everything inside. 
add in your seasoning add some water so we're going to add the water just to cover everything here then add your palm oil so because i'm using um three fondu i'm adding about one and a half tubs of palm oil so it's literally up to you this is what i'm doing we're going to turn on the heat on high 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 close the lid and leave this to cook to proper proper cook make sure you stir it every now and then make sure that everything is cooked so i'm going to leave it for at least an hour if it's burning if it feels like it's burning you add some water add more seasoning it's literally up to you this is cooking you literally have to like you know uh, make everything balance according to your taste so i'm going to leave this and I'm going to be checking on it every now and then and giving it a start if it needs to. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it to do its magic because that's what Pondu does. It is magic. Okay. So, um, yeah, guys. So I've been cooking this for about two hours. It was on medium heat and sometimes a bit like a bee chain. Medium heat, high heat, low heat. So it's making sure that it's okay, it's not burning and it's not cooking too fast to stir. And I'm happy with that. I taste it. So make sure you taste the food. Make sure that the, the salt and everything is where you like it. And if anything is lacking, you can add salt to taste or just to balance it according to your taste. That's pretty much it. You turn off the heat. So that is it guys. So I've served mine with rice and fish with pili pili as well. You can serve this with pretty much anything. Plantain with fufu with uh, guanga. You can actually have this with bread. Yes, with baguette. It is so so delicious. So yeah guys let me know what you like to serve your pondu with in the comment section below and please don't forget to like and subscribe share with your friends and family and that is it for me i'll speak to you all on my next video bye